Football! Welcome back to the League of Irish Bowl, me, Jack Sabini. Um, here for the big one tonight. Bows versus, uh, Bows versus Shells at Daily Mount. Um, very excited about this game. I think we're in for an absolute cracker here. Gonna walk into the ground, have a little bite of eat, have a little look around. I'm here with Tom, but he's absolutely allergic to the camera, so you won't be seeing him at all. Um, you may hear a few bits and pieces as he gets into the game, but a bit like Derek, won't have any of the, uh, won't have any of the cameras. So. start talking about the football right then let's get on with the football um let's start off with the league table bows slipped behind shells um in the table on friday after their nil nil draw away to Jordan. and shells beat cork 2-1 at home uh, at tolka um they've been in flying form shells really really good form um and they've moved into fourth as a result getting in the european spots um, both clubs absolutely desperate for a win tonight. Um, it, it sets up for a, a North Dublin derby. It's going to be an absolute banger of a derby. Cannot wait. Um, key players for both sides tonight. Again, I'll pick two of each team. Um, we'll start with the home side. We'll start with Bose. Um, the first player that I'll choose will be a, a pretty obvious one. It'll be James Clark. He's arguably the most informed player in the division at the minute. August player of the month, um, and rightly so. The Bows faithful have a new chant for him as well, and I, I'm very much looking forward to hearing that tonight. I'm sure they'll be uh, they'll be singing that from the terraces for sure. The Jody stand will be giving it some. Um, he graduated James Clark through the through the Rovers Shamrock Rovers Academy, and he signed for Drada when they were in the first division, gained promotion with Drada, and uh, signed for Bows in August 2022. He's turned out to be one of the best players in the division. Um, his last goal was at Daly Mount Park against Derry in the two-all draw. Um, a lovely little finish, as you can see. It's not his goals that have drew him the accolades. It's uh, it's his link-up play. And you can see here, um, away to Drada in the 3-1 uh, quarter-final cup victory at Weavers Park. Uh, he slips a, a, a delicious little ball for, to Afalabi um, to, to, to score. Um, and that's exactly why he's a key man uh, for Bose. That brings us on nicely to the second key man um, is Jonathan Afalabi. Uh, this guy, he's the main man. He's going to get you goals. He's really found his groove in recent weeks. Um, and he's even got a deserved call up to the Republic of Ireland squad uh, for the Euros qualifiers. Now, didn't get in the match day squad, which I think is absolutely criminal because they're looking for goals, Ireland. Bit of a mad one, but there you go. Um, he scored in seven games in a row. Um, he was a nominee for August Player of the Month alongside James Clark. Um, Clark pipping him to it, deservedly so. Um, you can only see if Bo's score tonight that is probably going to come through Afalabi. Um, his last goal in the league was from the spot um, against Derry City, 2 all. Um, and he scored in reverse fixture, uh, the one all draw at Tolka. Um, to, to bring it level again for Bose. He's always in the right spot, as you can see there. Um, and, he, and he scored in the game that I was at against UCD, as you can see in this clip right here. And if you haven't seen that Match Day vlog, I'll put a link in the description so you can have a look at it. Um, but yeah, two fantastic players. And you can imagine they'll have a big impact on this game tonight. So we move on to Shells. 
there's a, a number of players you can mention at the moment. The form they're on at the moment, Duff's got them playing some absolutely sensational stuff, getting some fantastic results. It's a really exciting time for Shelburne at the moment. Um, so you could have picked a number of players. But the first player I'll go with will be uh, Harry Wood. Um, completely changed the way Shells are playing, in my opinion. He's given that creativity in the midfield for Shells, for sure. Uh, he's allowed Duff to set up differently for games. Games that they were the drawn previously, they're now turning into wins. Um, and that's why they're, they're in fourth spot at the moment. Um, he's been a big part of that turnaround and uh, he's, been, he's been nothing short of fantastic. His last goal was away to Dundalk uh, when he scored with, I think it was around 10 minutes to go. Uh, a lovely little finish, very well taken, great composure. Um, and he's getting assists left, right and centre, which is the main reason why he's there. Um, he assisted both goals uh, in the game against Pats, as you can see here. Um, yeah, what a turnaround that was that night. That's really kick-started something and they, uh, the celebrations from Duff at the end were, were, were really, really good to see. Um, you love the passion. You just do. Um, main man for me, um, for Shells, is Jack Moynham. Every time I've seen him play live, he's so exciting to watch. He's, he's always, he always looks dangerous. Uh, he's one of those players who gets on the ball and he's looking to go forward straight away. But one of the main things I love about him is he's not just a, a, a tricky winger. He, he works so hard for the team. Um, he's got a bit of bite about him. Um, and I really love that in a player's game. He looks like he's going to get stuck in. He looks like he's going to leave someone on someone. And I, I love to see that. It's, it's a, Yeah, he's a proper, proper footballer. It's, it's, I think he's very exciting. Uh, he has. He's obviously moving to Lincoln at the end of the season, which I think is a great shame for the, for the division. But what can you do? It wouldn't surprise me if he ended up in the in the national side in uh, in the not too long future. Um, after Bo's let him go, um, you can see that any time he plays against them, he tries that bit extra, proven wrong for letting him go. Uh, he scored in that reverse fixture. Uh, he, he opened the scoring that night at Tolka Park in the one-all draw, as you can see here. Beautiful little right foot finish, um, giving it some in front of the Bo's faithful. And uh, his last goal, uh, it was Friday night and that win against Cork took Shells above Bows that night so head to heads um, Bows haven't beaten Shells in, in the league this season they've played three times uh, two draws and a win for Shells obviously the last game's at Daily Mount so that, that could make a difference and Bows have beaten Shells twice in the cup games that they've played uh, this season so they've all been low scoring games apart from the 4-3 win for Bows in the cup. Shells have the best defensive record in the, in the league. I think they've only conceded 21 this season. It's the best defensive record in the league. Um, that's the way Duff sets up and it's worked for him perfectly so far. Um, it's changed slightly in recent weeks for Shells. They have opened up a little bit more because they've got that creativity in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the park. But they still don't concede too many. So what do I think the score's going to be? Well, I think it's going to be relatively tight. I think uh, both teams will end up going for it. I think the fans, I think the atmosphere is going to be unreal. I think both sets of fans are going to be are going to be at it. Um, Shells, they sold out their end in a matter of minutes. Uh, the Jody stand sold out in a matter of minutes as well. Um, yeah, it's it's going to be a it's going to be a big night. It's a big big night. Um, it's going to be flying tackles. Uh, there'll be yellers, in my opinion. Um, I think it's going to be a draw. I think you're going to see a score or draw here. You're going to see a two or draw. Um, I think Shells are the side in form coming into this one. But I'd say Bows at home, fans behind them, they know it's a big game and I don't see them losing. But at the same time, I definitely don't see Shells losing with the form they're on. They know that they've got Rovers away coming up on Friday as well. So they're going to need to get something from this to keep, keep in the hunt. Two or, I reckon.
the great things about Daily Mountain is the, uh, the graphics around the stadium. It's, uh, it's a working class club for the people. And I, I, I love all that. I love what that stands for. On the seats there as well, I don't know if you noticed, they've actually painted them because they're sun favoured. So instead of a place to see, they've, they've painted them. Uh, yeah, in the, in the Bose colours, so that just shows you how much of a uh, traditional ground this is, isn't it? Finally managed to bag myself the Dublin bus jersey. I've been looking for this online, couldn't find it in my size anyway. Said sold out. Got it in the club shop. Absolutely delight with that. What a lovely top that is. Sorry I can't show you any that, but what a top. Uh, buzzing. Absolutely buzzing. Huh? Yeah, what was it? Right, here we go. I know this is a very old tune in for, so um, yeah. I've had a Brewster's before, had it at Tolka. Um, it's nice actually, I've got a chicken burger that time. So I thought I'd mix it up and go for the beef and see which one's the better one. I've opened it up there, onions are raw, not the best of starts, but um, 11 quid for a burger and chips, not too bad. Um, it's one of the better values so far, anyway. So look, let's get, let's get stuck in. Okay, let's get out there, please. Sure, yeah. That's lovely. That's really nice. That's just not cre uh, greasy. Nice brioche bun. Ketchup's a bit smoky. Yeah, delight that. Really nice.
Shell's pressing well. Uh, he got a ball in the middle of the park. Bo's a little bit um, suspect to the back, giving the ball away a little bit there with uh, Jack Moore and Lily Lincoln. Deserved. Uh, anytime the boy dives over to Moylan, he looks like he could score. Um, he's got the centre halves. He, he's definitely making them nervous anyway. Um, Bose seems like they're only out there so far as to get the ball up to Rafael Abbey. Um, they have had a couple of chances, but I'd say it's uh, it's been it's, it's probably a deserved lead for Shells at a break. Um, there was an incident over in the Jody stand. Um, the paramedics were called over there. I hope that person gets well soon anyway. Um, a little shame to see that. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, you'd expect Bose to come out and do something different in the second half. One nil Shells. The atmosphere's been quite quiet as well for the Bose and um, Shells make good noise. Quite quiet for the Bose, but the, uh, the team haven't really given much to, uh, to cheer for, to be fair. Um, but the slight frustrated the fans, and I think it's because the football's not been too great. Even though they went down, I thought I'd uh, get the yeah. top one with a second half. Bit of a view, see, isn't it, eh? Bose picked up the tempo. Um, creativity is still not really going. The quality, I'd say, is lacking a bit, but they definitely picked the tempo. <laughs> About 20 minutes to go. Um, Shells haven't really done anyone. Bo's, Bo's getting back into this one. Still one of the in there.
and so have they equalised off the close there. And Shells haven't got home at all this second half. Um, yeah, it's been one way traffic really. A uh, good bit of quality by Alan Poo there to, to make the level. Um, you know, the, way the, the way the game's going, we can only see uh, Bowes getting another one in. So So I ended up one apiece at the end. Um, Shell's definitely the happy of the two sides after that one. They stay in fourth. Oh, Tom slipped round us there, making sure he's not in the camera. Uh, Shell stay fourth, both fifth. Um, Shell's definitely the happier of the two. Uh, first half, one way traffic to Shell's. Um, Jack Morgan was causing the centre half all kinds of problems. Uh, Shane Farrell was getting down that right hand side very well, and Hayden Wood was playing the balls in. Um, second half, um, Bose. Didn't let Shells have a line half and Shells couldn't string a pass together. It looked like they were having to take a draw or take what they could. Um, to make it, like, it looks like it's probably the way the duck was set up in the second half. Um, yeah, it's a good game. Good game football. Good, two good football insides. Um, Bows could have probably won it. I won't spend too long wrapping up here because it's too cold. Um, yeah, we'll have a quick look at the league table. Um, Pat's missed an opportunity to go three points off of Rovers tonight without defeat. But an absolute scream of a goal by Dale Rooney for, for the drugs. Uh, Pat's going down at 10, uh, which obviously didn't help things. But that goal by Dale Rooney, I'm going to pop it in here because what a goal that was. Uh, it's definitely worth a look. So, yeah, absolute screamer. He's chipped over to a left foot volley. Absolute peach of a goal. Shells both stay as they are. Um, Shells are happier with the two. They've got rovers away at the, uh, at the weekend, which are. Uh, Make a difference, um, and then uh, Dundalk absolutely spanked Cork. The last time I said it was five nil. Look, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks very much for tuning in again. The next game we're going to, I'm hoping, is the Loud Derby. Yeah, over and out.